Hi everyone, it's MGM I here. How you doing? Welcome back to my Let's Play of Persona 5 Royal. Last time round, we cleared out the, cal the castle paths. We got Kamishida's treasure, and now all we have to do is await the change of heart. By doing a lot of things to help the star characters' uh, social stats and other things, and ranked with all our confidants. So the first thing we're going to do is we are actually going to go to the DVD store because we can so we return the DVD Welcome. and now we run the new DVD we're going to get Wraith gives us kindness So now we're actually going to go to Reiji here. Alright, let's do some intense training today. Go change and meet behind the gym. You don't want any catching you, so come through the back here. <laughs> uh, damn it. I want to move better, but I just can't. I was treated for nationals back in the day. Now I totally suck balls. What the hell do you think you're doing? Whoa! Now the core, Takashi. Running, huh? I saw you from the window. What, you wanna try come crawling back to the track team? Huh? Hell no! Speaking of which, this was your secret training spot, wasn't it? That's our spot now. You know, us, the former track team. We don't have a locker room anymore, thanks to someone I know. Hmm. Let's not fight. We ain't fighting. Yeah, this isn't like anything like a fight. Not even close. Hold on, aren't you that transfer student? You're gonna hang around with this loser. You better watch out. He'll hit you the second he gets pissed off. I heard his dad is the same way. It's like father and son, right? No, that's some scary shit. <coughs> that got that don't got anything to do with this. Calm down, Reggie. You're right. <sighs> Look, back then I... I don't need to hear your excuses. Everyone was going through the same shit, bullshit with Count Shido. The beatings, the impossible exercises, but we put up with all of it for the track team. But no, you had to go and fuck all that up. Man, I was stupid for ever thinking you were my teammate. That's all I have to say to you. I'm out of here. <sighs> I nearly smacked him when he was talking about my dad. I haven't changed this hall. But you know, you actually helped me calm down a little. I'm glad you're here with me. Thanks, man. And we get rank 3 for Chariot. We actually learn a new ability for follow-up. Chance to perform a follow-up attack if Joker's attack does not down the enemy. Alright. And also we do get more XP for fusing Chariot personas. Let's call it a day. Hey Nanako, why didn't you kick his ass? What? The hell's your problem? Hmm? Now we're just arguing with each other. I just stay out of it. See ya! Anyways, nice tra training with you. Mm. 
Yo, it's me. You get to talk? I wanted to thank you again for today. I really owe you, owe you one, man. I got pissed off so damn easily. I really gotta work on that. I can't exactly blame you. Nah, this one's definitely my bad. Besides, I can't cause a scene. Don't want to get you pulled into even more bad shit. Huh. Gotta wonder what they were arguing about. But hey, I'm an outsider. Nothing to do with me. Thanks again for today. Don't forget to massage your legs before you sleep, okay? See you later. Is that a thing? I actually don't know. It probably is a thing. I don't know. The train stopped. Was it another one of those psychotic breakdowns? Another minister has resigned. What is going on? How stupid do you have to be to commit adultery? They must be nuts, swinging that knife around on a train. There are too many crazy people. We're all the same people. <laughs> oh, I wish I could tell you the answer to that question. Ah, you're back. I went to see Shio today. And I told her we settled things with Tamashita. She still hasn't regained consciousness, but I had to go make amends. What do you mean? You didn't do anything wrong, Anne. Right? It's not your fault. But I wasn't there when she needed help. I'm a failure as a friend. I have to do all I can do. I have to do all I can to make make up for that starting now. Otherwise, I don't think I'll be able to move on. Man, I didn't know you were so passionate. I totally didn't miss notice that back in middle school. I think it's because of you guys. I'm a little embarrassed, though. Anyways, Ryuji and Akira, I hope we can keep helping each other out from now on, too. Alright, so I am actually going to take the chance to study. Now listen up. What do you want to do? So we are going to study. Make sure you close up. Hey, hey! So you're able to solve these problems rather quickly. Hope you're not just picking the easy ones. You're making some good progress. I can see the wisdom in your eyes behind those glasses. So do you get a couple of more points of knowledge? We need. Well then. You'll tire yourself out if you keep at it for too long. You should stop today for today and get some sleep. Hey! So we're able to grab a seat. So today we're going to read the Alluring Dancer. Hmm? When she danced, men fell upon her feet. Wow! It wasn't it wasn't just her looks, but the way of her life her way of life was also very beautiful. Hey, hey! I didn't realise how long you've been reading, so how far did you get? We still have some pages left, so we should continue some other time. The board meeting is the day after tomorrow. I wonder if Kamoshida really had a change of heart. What if we failed? Uh, that's all I've been able to think about. We have to believe. We did do what we could. I guess all I can do now is believe. But how strange. I feel a bit better now. Maybe it's because of your composure? We'll be able to avenge Shiho and you won't get expelled. After break, we'll all be able to laugh together. That's what I'll believe. Hi, everyone. How are you all doing? These days, you're expected to know colloquial English, even as idioms that come from other languages. I 
don't even know what click world means. I want you to forget that you're Japanese during this class and make you believe, make yourself believe you're a foreigner. What's important is becoming someone else. Really? In this day and age, being able to swap your mask depending on the situation is a critical talent. I guess, but still, I feel like you should be yourself. How are you fair? Here's a question. Let's hear it. Are you a wonder kid? See if you can work out the answer based on what you know. Um. Are you a wonder kid? Looks like me. Looks like we need to work out what what that is so we can answer properly. My German is a little rusty, but I'll give you a hand if I can. First off, wonder probably part part probably means wonder. Right, wonder. So something wondrous, I guess, or impressive. The kind part. That's probably child. Think about this again. Aha! Uh -huh. The kind is in kindergarten, refers to all the kids in it. Oh, yeah, kind must be in a child, or at least a young guy in your case. And a protege. This is it. That's correct. That's right, I was asking if you're a wonder child, in other words, a youth of uncommon child talent. I suppose if you were thinking the doubt so quickly, that pretty, you certainly must be. Oh, and the word talent comes from Greek talenton, a sum of money referenced in the Bible. That's interesting. I actually didn't know that. Huh. The more skilled the servant was, the more their coins were they received from God, their talent led to wealth. No way. Sheesh. What? He's pretty smart. I didn't expect that. Nice going! You might have been too bad. And I'm on a roll today. So we get more knowledge. Pretty good. The English word talent didn't originally have anything to do with our modern concept of slavery. But the ability to change one's mass depending on the situation is surely a talent given to one by God. It's not too far off calling people who can react to things on the spot on TV talents. <laughs> really? The talent of changing masks, does that all make us wonder thieves? <laughs> if only Morgana. If only. Have you seen Kamoshida? You really think he changed? I hope so. Well, yeah. Oh, perfect timing. Study hall will be held instead of PE today. I'm letting you know just in case you haven't heard. Mr. Kamoshida has taken the day off. He ain't here? Don't tell anyone that you heard this from me. But we received word that Mr. Kamoshida is placing himself under suspension. It's such an important time before the tournament, too. Principal Kobayakawa went to talk to him about it, but he supposedly wasn't making any sense. Wait, a suspension? Not so loud! The talks about your expulsions may be put on hold, too. I don't know too much about it, though. Anyway, I've relayed what's going on to you. Looks like something happened. At least it sounds different from a mental shutdown. I guess all we can do is wait. Indeed, Rigi. All we can do is wait. Man, all this waiting's got me so antsy. Would you go on a trip or something? What do you think? Sorry, I'm gonna have to pass. What, you busy? Yeah, I'll be visiting Shiho in the hospital after school for the next few days. I can't do much to help her, but it'd be nice to at least see her face. Gotcha. I hope she wakes up soon. Go cheer her up. Yeah, thanks. I'm totally down to go somewhere once things calm down, though. <sighs> so I said we won't be able to see Lady Anna after school for a while. How unfortunate. You should work on your kindness. That way you can say something encouraging next time you see her. 
All right, we're doing that. We're doing that. But uh, we're actually going to go to Shibuya and go to Central Street because we can actually get a bit of free time here. And I do want to go to the, the cinema, which is just up here, it's very top here. I wonder what it's showing right now. Going to a movie will cause time to pass, but if it's your first time seeing a film, you can expect greater effects from watching. The movie showing at a theater changes as time passes, so check back every so often and see what's playing. Wow! Right now we're just in time to see Tank Top Millionaire. It's a story about a teenager who becomes Tank Top Millionaire with the money he won on the quiz crew. Hmm, looks like this movie can teach you how to improve your guts. Well. You'll need to buy a ticket if you want to see a movie. Let's do it. Well then. It's almost time for the movie to start. Let's grab a seat. I'd have that some slumdog brat wins so much prize money. It's just not possible. You must have cheated. No, it wasn't cheating. It was destiny. How does a little kid like him have guts like that? I really feel the courage of that boy and his attitude towards life. We get a lot of guts here for that. We even watched the credits all the way to the very end. Let's head back. All right, let's head home. Ah, you're back. You heard anything about that stuff happening to Kamashita? I see. Did, hap did something happen? I don't know. I'm just feeling kind of anxious. I keep thinking if I even with all you did, we might still end up getting expelled. My mom's totally going to suffer if that happens. Plus, if we couldn't help Anne or Chizui, we have to believe. I'm sorry. I guess not now is the time to be getting got all down in the dumps. Anyways, I'm feeling a little bit annoyed that I talked to you about this. Thanks, man. Oh, and don't tell Anna I was out this, okay? She wouldn't have anyone to rely on if we're getting all worried about this shit. I'll see ya. Alright, so uh, now we're actually going to do a little bit of crafting to boost our proficiency a little bit. Okay. And I'm probably just going to make one here. Yeah! Yes. Yeah. And with that, our proficiency has gone up to level two. All we right. are now decent. <laughs> well then. Okay, let's go to bed. shopping program is there today you want to check out the TV actually yeah I might do that Let's see what's available hi everyone so this is shopping here's what we've got for you today you start with this military ration stick you can't fight on an empty stock so get your nutrients with this oh, we do get some SP items from that muscle workout set you'll see an improvement in your training results the set includes Protein and moist protein. Oh, I think I will actually go with. Um, hey, hey! I think I will actually get the HP and SP set. Well then. Okay. So now we're gonna go to Shibuya, we're gonna go to the Underground Mall. Oh, I think that's the wrong place. I actually should be going to the Underground Walkway. So 
gonna eat this thing high play sparks. It is quite big. Because it is Sunday and it's time for more Roger Ruger. Hi! Or however you say it. So we do get a little bit of proficiency with this, so that's all good. Well then. Shall we die? Nice! So you got a little bit more proficiency for that. Um, I do want to check. Yeah, so do have death. So we're going to go back to clinic. <clears throat> and talk to, to Kimmy. In spring. One sleeps the sleep that knows no dawn, huh? Oh, God, I need a nap. Or at least some good old-fashioned caffeine in my system. And my current level of guts I should be able to handle that medicine. I should suggest a clinical trial. So yes, you do need guts level 2 for this. So we got that. So, let's do the clinical trial. I developed a new medicine. Can you come to the back? Hang out with her. Please head to the exam room. In that case, I'm going to start setting up. So go wait in the examination room. Well, I'm going to walk around. Let me know when you're ready to leave. Wow, you're leaving me, Morgana? Where do you even go? I mean, dare I ask that stupid question? Mm. Here you go. I made various adjustments to the previous drug based on your trial results. Alright, bring it down in one gulp. Powerful taste. Both sour and bitter overwhelms me. The smell is terrible. I'm having a hard time breathing. <laughs> ah, your reaction to it is absolutely perfect. You feel a bit dazed, hmm? Yes, I mixed in some special components. What did you. Never mind. Okay, let's take your temperature and blood pressure. Also, I'm going to draw some blood. I also want to perform a few motor skill tests, but those might be a bit too much for you right now. Anyway, since we're in the final stages, I should first stabilize the fub fundamental formula. Oh, so here you are. What? I'm in the middle of the examination. I told you before, officer. If you want to investigate me, you show me a warrant. Hmm. I'm here because we received a report. I'll need to see a detailed statement of all medical expenses and full medical records. I bet you didn't have time enough to hide to any incriminating documents, huh? Must be under the orders of the chief medical chief of staff. Here you go. Huh? This kid here is my only patient today. If you're asking for his medical expenses, I guess I'm under suspicion of improper billing. But if I were to see, I'd say you've been sent on a wild goose chase. But what's going on here? Hmm. You're being manipulated. That report is fictitious. It's nothing but an attempt to harass me. What? Hey you, what are you doing here? You don't seem to be sick. Are you up to something illegal? Jeez, first impressions? I have a bad heart. A, a bad heart? Mm -hmm. He's stressed about taking his entrance exams. I have some drugs that'll help with the accession. So is there anything else? As you can see, I'm pretty busy here. Fine. You're infuriating, you know that? Hm, nothing, but I'd expect nothing less from the plague. <sighs> huh, I'm so over this. I agree. Wow. I think we're just gonna get, we're gonna get along just fine. If it's nothing to worry about, I'm sure it was my former superior who made that false report. 
You eavesdropped on our conversation the other day, remember? He's just trying to put pressure on me by having the police investigate me and my practice. By the way... Anyway, I'll need to draw some blood. There'll be mild anemia, but only temporarily. You'll be fine. Part of our deal, remember? Guess I have no choice. I like kids who listen to their superiors. Enjoy your medicine. And we get a rank up even though we half died. Sure, why not? And we get rank two. All right. Which puts our XP from from fusing personas into the effort counter. <laughs> I'm gonna draw more blood than usual since you're healthy and all. <laughs> Only kidding. Okay, please lie down. You can go home once I'm done. I feel like cooperating in that shitty clinical trial has improved my gut. Take care. Alright, take care. Hi, my little guinea pig. You get home safely? You still seem kind of dizzy when you left, so I figured I'd check in. You know how it is, some patients get sick on their way back home. I'm totally fine. Yeah, you sound alright. Guess I've got nothing to worry about. I think you'll be okay, but call me if you start feeling sick. Okay, I'm looking forward to our next clinical trial. Support me. Don't worry, I'm sure to change your heart for words. Support me is tomorrow, right? We're gonna get expelled if Thomas Shunan doesn't have a change of heart by then. I'm sure he will. He'll definitely change. It'll be a real problem for us if he didn't. You're right. It's a little too early to be giving up now. Guess we're gonna find out one way or the other tomorrow. We just gotta brace ourselves for all the possibilities. I'm sorry I can't offer more reassurance, but he should have the change of heart. Let's just believe in that while we wait for tomorrow. Hey, hey! I'm more about suit armor, but um, I'm not gonna be doing that. Instead, I'm actually gonna go to. I think. Is oh. the. Um... <laughs> What do you want to do? We're actually going to go to the bathhouse. Let's enter. Oh. We've got quite a lot of charm for that. Wanna head back? <sighs> this is no good. Uh, Mondays are such a drag. Why couldn't they give us today off too? We could have had the rest of the week starting tomorrow. Yeah, it's ridiculous. Picking up, what's up with that calling card? The one sent to Kamachita. Didn't it say something about stealing his disordered desires or something weird like that? Yeah, something like that. What's with the sudden morning assembly? Oh, I bet it's about that girl that jumped the other day. They don't have to tell us not to commit suicide. There was that weird calling card too, so I guess the teachers are freaking out. We're lucky that morning practice got cancelled though. I feel like I'm gonna faint if this takes forever. <sighs> Let's begin this school-wide morning assembly. 
As you all know, a tragic event took place the other day. Thankfully, we have been informed that she has pulled through, but it will take time until she recovers. Everyone here has a bright future ahead. I implore that you rethink the importance of life and... <laughs> Mr. Kamashita, what's the... I... Uh, have been reborn. That is why I will confess everything to you all. Huh? What's wrong with Mr. Kamushita? What's this about? Confess? Did the volleyball team do something? I have repeatedly done things that were unbecoming of a teacher. Verbally abusing students, physically abusing my team, and sexually harassing female students. I am the reason why Shiho Suzui tried to kill herself. Sexual harassment? What? Why would he oh, say that himself? Uh, he is Volleyball so team? first. Really? Physical abuse? I thought of the school as my own castle. There were even students that I sentenced to expulsion simply because I didn't like them. I will, of course, rescind those. I am truly sorry for putting innocent youths through such horrible acts. I am an arrogant, shallow, and shameful person. No, I'm worse than that. I will take responsibility. I kill myself for it. What? Did he just say that? Would kill himself? Mr. Kamoshida is, uh, not well. Mr. Kamoshida, please died. get off the stage for now. Everyone, return to your classes. I... Don't run, you bastard! Shiho's still alive, even after all the things that made her want to die. You have no right to run from this! You're right. You're absolutely right. I should be punished under the law and atone for my crimes. I did horrible things to Takamaki-san as well. In return for giving Suzui-san a position on the team, I... I tried to force her into having relations. Disgusting. Uh, for a position on the team? I feel so That's bad horrible. for Takamaki-san. So the rumors weren't true. As of today, I will resign from my position as an instructor and turn myself in. <laughs> Someone please call the police! The police? Is he for real? He's gonna get wow. arrested? This morning's assembly is over! Return to your classes immediately! Isn't this just like what that calling card said? Does this mean the Phantom Thieves thing was for real? Was something done to Kamoshida? Come on, there's no way you could steal someone's heart. But why else would he start saying things like he'll kill himself or turn himself in? Maybe because it almost got leaked? Don't they go easier on you if you turn yourself in? I wonder what happened. Who knows? <laughs> but man, Kamashita turned out to be one sick bastard. Hey, is this for real? He's turning himself in just like that? What's going to happen to the ball? Do think Tamarasi will show up this now? Is gonna be a big Return to your classrooms at once! His heart really did change. Seems like it. But, was this really for the best? I think so. Yeah, it's gotta be. But things are happening way too fast. Huh? What the... Takamaki-san, I'm sorry. Huh? We all knew, but we pretended we didn't. Takamaki-san, I had you all wrong. I'm sorry that I spread rumors about you. I didn't know at all. Oh, Kamashita was forcefully pushing himself on you. It must have been so hard for you. I'm sure there's a ton of people who want to apologize to you. We're so sorry. No, it's okay. The same goes for me, too. Besides, that's all in the past now. Hey, you there! Return to class at once! Well, see you later then. I can't.
can't apologize enough for what I did to you. I swear I'll make it up to you someday. Looks like Kamoshida ain't the only one that had a change of heart. Man, I'm glad for you. Looks like those weird rumors are gonna go away. My thing doesn't really matter. We made Kamoshida apologize about Shiho. That's more than enough for me. You should hurry and tell her about it then. Yeah. I totally freaked out. He really did have a change of heart. And we were lucky his mind didn't get messed up either. <laughs> this was an A-plus job. Does this mean that they won't have a mental shutdown even if their palace disappears? I see. So we need to persuade the shadow without killing it, and then send it back to its real self. Our targets won't undergo a cognitive collapse if we do that. So we can get him to confess with no bad stuff? Hey, that works for me. Do you have to be so loud? Eh, don't worry about it. So, how'd it go? With Shiho, I mean. She's regained consciousness. For real? It was only for a little bit, but I got to talk to her. I was able to tell her that Kamoshida admitted to what he did. Shiho, she... She told me she was sorry. Looks like she found out that I was flirting with Kamoshida for her sake. And here I was, wanting to apologize to her. Kamoshida's at fault for all this. I know. Shiho's mom is thinking of transferring her to another school after she recovers. The whole sexual harassment and attempted suicide... People will label her after that. Sounded like Shiho had the same idea, too. Ah, it's gonna get lonely. But I think it's for the best. I'm sure it'll be hard if she stays here. She's alive. You can see her anytime. I need to change, too. That aside, I was surprised you could hold yourself back against Kamoshida's shadow. It wasn't like that. I just wanted Kamoshida to apologize himself. You're so kind, Lady On. No matter how much of a shitbag he was, finishing him off would have left a bad aftertaste, huh? Huh? That's not it. I think revenge is better served if I make him repent. Realizing what he's done, he'll grovel for forgiveness the rest of his life. You know? I just believe there are fates worse than death. Holy shit. Uh, anyways, that's all settled. <laughs> but, you know, there was one more thing I was wondering about that castle. Why was Kamoshida the only one who had that metaverse thing? It isn't necessarily limited to him. It's something anyone could have, if their heart became warped from their desires. Anyone? Wanna check it out? Not right now. We better lay low for a while. People are still gonna be talking about Kamoshida. Then again, it's totally impossible for someone to find out what we did at his palace. Yeah, about that, weird rumors about you guys are already going around. Stuff like, you got together and threatened Kamoshida with something close to physical violence. The hell? People aren't going to easily believe that phantom thieves really exist. The calling card's being treated like it was a prank by someone who knew what Kamoshida was doing. Hmm, makes sense. We're the ones who did it, and I still don't completely believe it myself. <laughs> Let's wait for things to settle down for the time being. Anyways... Let's check how much this metal can be sold for. It'd be better if we pawned it off ASAP. Ooh, got a hit! Wait, 30,000 yen? That's all a gold medal's worth? Remember that time in middle school? I lent you some money. There's no way I borrowed 30,000 yen from you. Wouldn't it be around that much with compounded interest? Interest my ass? I'm not saying that I'm taking all of it. I mean, it's your fault for not paying me back all these years. It's just common sense. Ah, damn it. 
I agree on laying low and keeping an eye on the situation. However, you dragged me into this. It would be nonsense not to celebrate a successful mission. I guess we could blow this dirty money on something fun. Discussions among phantom thieves are to take place over luxurious food. How about it? Hey, wait! Ah, uh, I guess it's fine. There's somewhere I want to go then. Where's that? It's a place Shiho and I have been wanting to go for a while. I owe money, so I can't complain. You good with that? Fine by me. I'll leave it to your discretion as well, Lady On. I'll call and check the prices later then. When should we go? Want to do it soon, like tomorrow? Why don't we go on the last day of the holidays? It'll help energize us when school life starts up again the day after. Then, uh, the fifth, on Children's Day. So, who's going to sell this? Leave that to us. We know a store that'll buy anything, don't we? Okay, I'll leave that to you guys. Ah, you're back. Is that Blood Metal real? When did it get inside his palace? No, that one is a fake. It's just a byproduct of his cognition. The real metal should still be in his possession. This one's a fake. What? You're telling me Kamish has still got the metal? Who cares? What matters is that we change his heart. And anyway, if we'd taken the real thing, that would be stealing. I don't think he'll be proud of that metal anymore, regardless. Huh. You let go of stuff pretty easy, huh? Wanna forget about my debt? That's different. 500 yen is a lot of money for a middle schooler, you know? Do you still have that dolphin anyway? Dolphin. Stop digging that up! Back in middle school, went on a field trip to the aquarium, but Ryuji had to spend all his money on a souvenir, so I let themselves to the training fair. I said I was sorry, that was for my mom. I guess I can call it even after all we've been free. Thank you. Anyway, so don't gotta worry Kamishita about will never be proud of that once in a lifetime gold medal ever again. Depending on how you look at it, that punishment might be even worse than death for him. <sighs> Starting tomorrow, you'll have a lot more t of time off, huh? Must be nice. For me, it just means more customers and even more work. Yo. And we get our hey. present back. We get some HP stuff and an SP. Oh. Nice. So now, we're just going to do a bit of crossword. Hey. hey. So the correct answer for this one is. Golden. For golden link. Golden week is a holiday that typically spans at the end of April to the beginning of May and sometimes includes Saturdays and Sundays. The, gold the golden part of the phrase came from the Japanese broadcasting term golden time, which refers to the most desirable time slot of the day. All right. I see. I wish we had that in the UK. Mm -hmm. I really do. So we get a bit of knowledge from that. And we're actually going to do some more studying, because we need now some more knowledge. Up. What do you want to do? Make sure you close up. Wow! I can answer these difficult problems, you're amazing. That we get rank up knowledge too. All right. So now we're learned, or learned, well, I guess. Okay. Come on, we're gonna pawn that medal today. Hey, you can hear me, right? 
You don't have plans, do you? Come help me out instead of sleeping your life away. We do yours, Tim. We'll just have to help Mike. <laughs> Sorry, I kind of pressured you into doing this. And now to our next topic, Fall from Grace, the story of a dishonored Olympic medalist. Just recently, a high school coach confessed at an assembly that he had been repeatedly abusing students. Given his prior Olympic achievements, this has caused quite a stir. What caused this habitual offender to suddenly confess these heinous crimes to his entire school? The police are hoping that the upcoming interrogations will bring light to this question. Isn't this... My friends would come back from practice with bruises all the time. It was scary, but I'm relieved that the abuse is finally going to end now. He would touch me and stuff all the time. I'm glad I don't have to deal with that sexual harassment anymore. There were always rumors, sure. Not many people believed them, though. Like, I'm totally shocked they were actually true. At least now I can go to school without worrying. I knew it. This is your school, isn't it? Seems like it. Huh. Things might be getting turbulent at school, but you need to just keep your head down, all right? More importantly, keep those hands moving. I've got some more stuff I need you to do. Man! The chief really worked this hard. Did you see? It was on the news. No way the school's gonna be able to play dumb after that. I saw two. She whose name didn't come up, right? Not that I saw. I bet they want to keep that part quiet. I'm so glad. It's finally over then. All we've got to do is face, stuff our faces and put this town shit of crap behind us. I'm totally looking forward to this celebration party. I'll try not to let you guys down. Yes! Alright, we need to go sell the gold medal tomorrow. Even if the chief wants your help, make sure you turn them down, okay? Okay. We gotta take care of this tomorrow, like we told Mitt the other we would. Make sure you sell that medal. Alright, but uh, before we do that, oh. we're gonna watch the first part of Reef. Your wife. You were very close to her. You are very close to her. Even now. This can't be. She's. What are you saying? It's a strange story about a woman who can speak with the spirits of the deceased. Hey, hey! I wonder if that woman would join the Phantom Thieves. Should be useful, don't you think? <laughs> I guess. Hmm. What a woman devoted to the spirits of the dead like that. He learned a thing too about kindness from watching this drama. So we get some kindness from that. Well then. Let's go to bed. Make sure to do the dishes. When I get back. Just do it. Don't get cocky with me. Welcome. Am I interrupting something? Not at all. The cause of the runaway train incident in the subway the other day still has not been found. Police are hurrying to solve the matter as it may relate to the rise in psychotic breakdown incidents. Oh. Is that the thing everyone's been talking about? Doesn't it make you curious? People who were living normal lives suddenly went mad or deranged out of the blue. Not to mention that it's happening one after another. Could they really be coincidental? Hmm. <sighs> Leaving that aside, what do you have? Hmm. I'll have the house blend, please. Are you a part-timer? I'm surprised this place can afford one. Uh, what, no, not exactly. Are you a high school student? Where do you attend? Shooting Academy. Oh, someone I know goes there as well. I've heard that things are rough right now. 
A teacher named Kamoshida confessed his crimes like he was a completely different person, supposedly. And it happened all of a sudden one day. Can a person's mental state change so easily? Huh. <sighs> Is my drink ready yet? Coming right up. All right. Today's the day we turn in that metal for cash. You know some place that'll buy it off you, right? Yes, we do. But I do want to actually grab some... Uh... Mm. Oh! Oh. Come. Okay. So we need to go to the... Uh, Central Street. Airsoft shop. Airsoft shop. It's hard to say. And let's talk to the manager. Huh? You again. What do you want? I want you to buy this. Huh? A gold medal? Why do you have this? We don't buy any fake or sold goods here, kid. Hey. Hold on a sec, let me see it. Mm. I'm just not gonna ask where you got this. How far how's 35 in the end cipher though? Of course for me. Hmm. 35 in the end So you get a lot of money. Mm. It's almost time. Here, take this with you. It's a thanks for selling me that metal. But, uh, best not to open it. Just bring it with you next time you come back here. Got it. Glad you're so quick to understand. <sighs> They're here. Munishir Ay, yes? There's some matters we'd like to discuss with you today. Go, kid. why we're here? <laughs> I don't know. Looking for evidence. You tell me, Mr. Detective. What's your attitude? Well, you guys gonna search me? Go on, do what you gotta do. What was that? Well, I'm standing some citizens. Supposed to pop where you're caught, right? Hey, you sure that lead was legitimate? You could have sworn it was. <laughs> Hurry it up, I've got a business to run here. You bastard. Hey you! What's in the bag, huh? Show me. Okay, it's just a regular old customer. You can check the tapes so that'll convince you. They'll show everything that's gone down here today. I don't want to be here when the detective see the footage of me with that gold medal. I should leave. I want you to get away that easy. Show us what's in the bag. I should actually be going. <sighs> hmm. All of you starting to feel a little too fishy. Hey, you're talking to the kid, remember? Besides, he's not the one we're here to see. Err. That's right, Mr. Detective. Maybe next time try not to have some of my customers. See how that goes. See ya. See a trip home, kid. What were those detectives doing there? More importantly, aren't you curious about what's in the bag? Maybe a little. Well, come on, let's open it up. A real gun? Wait. I think it's just a model. It's incredible, though. Miles ahead of the one Ryuji had. There's something weird about that place. Hey, I just had a great idea. We should totally buy this gun from him later. I mean, it's perfect. Something this real-looking would work wonders in the metaverse. Anyway, he told you to bring it back the next time you came, right? You should try striking a deal with him when we go to return it. 
get up here for fine. Because, of course we do. Anne's calling me. Oh, hello, it's me. I saw the news. You know, about Kamoshida. It's getting a lot of coverage. How do you feel? Uh, I don't know. The reaction's been bigger than what I was expecting. I guess I'm just surprised. I don't think we did anything wrong, though. I wonder if we helped those people speak up about it. It's possible. <laughs> That's pretty amazing, huh? I didn't think we'd actually be able to do it. And yet, look at us now. This calls for a celebration. Let's meet in front of Shibuya Station at noon tomorrow. Don't be late. Oh, and did you pawn off that medal? You didn't forget, right? I remembered. Good to hear. I already made reservations. You should be really excited about the place I chose, by the way. I'm sure everyone's gonna love it. Well, see you guys tomorrow. Ah, a restaurant of Lady Anne's choosing. Finally, a decent meal. Hey, what do you think we're gonna be eating? Barbecue, I like barbecue. Never tried sushi, don't really like Chinese. Oh, I could go for some Wagyu beef. It better be grade A. In any case, I'm surely looking forward to it. <laughs> we're finally having that celebration tomorrow. I can't wait. Oh, we're probably gonna sleep. I'm gonna craft again. Okay. Yeah. What's up? Yes. Yeah. We got some more proficiency. Well then. Mmm. <laughs> so good. No wonder Lady Anne chose this place. Of course it's good. This is a famous hotel after all. Oh yeah, I heard that the police are coming to interview some people at school. That's troublesome. Our names are gonna come up for sure. People are spreading all sorts of rumors about us and Kamoshida. But we got them pumped up. I keep hearing stuff like, the Phantom Thieves really stole his heart. I think most people don't believe it, but some of them actually seem grateful. Look at this. The Phantom Aficionado website? Well done, Phantom Thieves. Now I can keep going too. Thank you for giving us hope. Pretty cool, huh? I was just desperate to deal with my own problems, but seeing people saying all this feels... strange. Yeah. Hey, what do we do now? We get in time? Huh? Oh crap, you're totally right! We only got an hour to eat! Just 50 minutes left! Oh, I'm not gonna finish all the beef dishes at this pace! I need to eat my way through the entire dessert menu! Look after our stuff. We'll snag something for you guys, too. Don't worry. Oh, man. God melts in my mouth. Seriously? Only meat? Now, where should I start? And she's all about the cake. So happy! <laughs> hey. Calories. Shut up! How much do you think one of these costs? I'll never get the chance to do this again! Mmm, the Wilton Hotel Cake Buffet! I'd heard rumors, but I never thought it'd be so amazing! <laughs> and where's our share? I didn't really know what you'd want, so I just grabbed you some beans. Beans? 
There were some pretty bizarre things there, too, so we got you a variety of those. Fried bananas, preserved eggs, and some kind of beans. M more beans? We put so much on the plate that it got all mixed up. But it should probably still taste good. This is just plain grotesque. Let's go. These two just don't know what fine dining means. We'll show them. Leave it to me. <laughs> That's reassuring. You guys watch our things while we're gone. Wait patiently for our return. Mm. Oh, it's like a meaty explosion in my mouth. Oh, this part's cream cheese! They're not even listening. I don't want to say anything about the words BE explosion, I but I think I just did. So anyway. Top class hotel. The ingredients and variety of dishes are crazy good. There's a reason it costs 8,000 yen. They have a lot here, but fish should come first. Let's fill our plate with all sorts of fish. Which table do you think they're at? So that's the meat. That's the right, so we have to look around. Salad. There's fishes. Ooh, look! There's the- I'd prefer it raw, but grilled is great too. Have you heard, my dear? The news about that Kamoshida fellow was absolutely dreadful. Oh, right. That teacher at Shujin Academy? Caught doing such indecent acts. Shameful, really. Hold on a sec. And they still haven't managed to solve those horrible psychotic breakdown episodes, have they? Oh, I wish they wouldn't let themselves be distracted by such a tawdry scandal. Perhaps it's a sign of how peaceful this country is. I honestly pity those poor Shujin students, though. Hmm. It sounds like the Kamashita incident is the talk of the town. Hmm? Shoot! They noticed you! Just grab some food and act natural. On the plus side, we'll get to eat the food later. Oh, how did a child like this end up in here? I certainly hope he didn't bring friends. I prefer my meals to remain hooligan-free. Thank you very much. Come, let us go. Wow. What's so bad about kids coming to enjoy a buffet? Hmm. I wonder how the other people here are reacting to the news. Let's get some more food and listen in. Maybe there are more people we can eavesdrop on at other tables. So, we're gonna get some dessert. Oh, up close it looks even... News travels quick. It's already all over the internet. You know, the story about how Kamoshida got his ass kicked by some world-reforming heroes. It doesn't sound like a serious story to me. Some of the details are pretty far-fetched. Don't worry about it. We just have to do what they tell us to do. It's all rumors made up by school kids anyway. If it's gripping news, who cares if it's not true? So they don't believe themselves. But they're making up stories to make the Phantom Thieves seem real. And they're doing this in front of the actual Phantom Thieves. Hmm? Well, act fast and get some food! And make sure it's got a lot of whipped cream! What's wrong? Ah, uh, nothing. I thought some weird kid was looking at us, that's all. Why don't we go? It's almost time for the meeting. Well, that was rude. Did you hear him? He said you were weird. Hmm. I wonder how the other people here are reacting to the news. Let's get some more food and listen in. We need some meat and some rice dishes. Rice is incredible! It's the cornerstone of every great meal! Sorry, I got a bit carried away there. So, the ratings for the news were really that good? It was because it was about that teacher who sexually harassed his student, huh? Was it Kamoshida? It's all about how you frame it. You've got to cater to the idiotic public. Ratings go up when you show them crude, sensational news and make it easy for them to understand. How can he be so insensitive? A student almost killed herself because of that Kamoshida. By the way, do you think these sudden changes of heart might be real? Well, that's... Hmm? Quick, grab some food! Oh, and don't forget the crispy bits. So, because he had a sudden change of heart, he just confessed to all his crimes? 
Who knows? Sorry, but it's time. I have to go. I'll call you again after the meeting. A sudden change of heart, huh? I suppose I can't blame him for seeing it that way. Hmm. I wonder how the other people... So finally we have to meet this is. Oh, meat! I'm no Ryuji, but a meal is just not the same if you don't have any... I got distracted. When you really look at it, he's just an ex-athlete who overestimated himself. He should have just accepted his lot in life and quietly done his job as a teacher. It's not even an incident we can take seriously. The whole story is pretty ridiculous. We should probably look into it. But we can also just let the low-ranking scrubs handle it. Look into? I guess they're investigating Kamoshida? They don't sound very enthusiastic about it, though. Hmm? Gah! Grab some food! Ah, get the part that's not too fatty. He's gonna be arriving soon. We don't want to keep him waiting, so we better get going, too. What is he going to discuss with the higher-ups? Well, I'm sure it's more important than lunch. We were dressed quite well, but they still looked pretty shady to me. I don't think there's anyone else we can listen in on, but it's shocking. So many of the adults here don't seem like nice people. Now, according to what we heard, it seems most adults aren't very interested in the news about Kamoshida. Well, now that we've got a nice variety of food on our plates, let's head back to the others. <laughs> you brought a ton back! What do you think about coming up against such ritzy food? I'm s I just want to eat. I was thinking that too, but take a bite. Using better ingredients makes stuff taste way different. <laughs> Look at you, acting like you have a refined palate all of a sudden. Don't you think you're eating too much, Mona? Mm. There's no... Knowing when we'll get to come here again. Uh, sure, but you guys brought back loads of food. It'd be a shame to let it all go to waste. Why don't you help them out, Ryuji? Well, we should both help. Oh, me? I'm way too stuffed. I couldn't possibly help. <laughs> yeah, stuffing your face with cake. Whatever. Let's deal with this ourselves. Feels no matter how much we eat, the amount of food we have stays the same. There's still more? Don't give up. Let's keep at it. We... we did it. My belt feels multiple sizes is too small. Oh yeah. This is a victory... for all of us. That was a breeze. Oh, is your stomach the size of a freaking palace? Good job, you guys! How about one last dish to cleanse your palates? I recommend the seasonal tart. The grapefruit has both alluring sweetness and a tangy sourness. Uh, stop. I don't want to hear about sour stuff. <laughs> uh, this isn't good. I gotta go to the bathroom. Well, me too. Please carry me gently. My, look at that table. Come now, pay them no attention. I'm sure they must not normally have the chance to eat such exquisite food. I can only imagine what their parents must be like. What was that? We don't got time for that. Come on, let's go. Ugh, I'm stuffed. I totally panicked when I saw the closed for cleaning sign at the bathrooms. You were talking big about eating until you puked, but you really did puke. Are you some kind of moron? Hey, same goes for you. What floor was that restaurant on? We came up to get here, so it has to be on a lower floor, right? There's still no update on the case. Not yet. Excuse me, but 
Why are you so involved? It's not something you should be concerned with. I don't care about your opinion, you incompetent buffoon. When I say pick up the pace, you do it! Hey, you're cutting in line! What do you want? Say nothing. We're in a hurry. Oh, I'm sorry. So you can butt in front of other people if you're in a hurry? It seems the customer base has changed since I was here last. Have they started a daycare? What? Sir, we don't have time for this. I know. Don't bother with them. That voice just died. with that bossy guy shouldn't we head back down yeah but that dick really pissed me off he wasn't even hiding the fact that he looks down on everyone don't lose your temper over this i just can't forgive shitty adults like that that man's voice Sounded almost like the one from back then. What's wrong? I'm okay. You sure? You're not looking so hot. It's probably because he never eats well. I'm always stuck with canned cat food, too. Yeah, that sir bullshit makes me sick. Damn it! What took you so long? Why are you all pissy? Sorry. I had a run-in with some woman a second ago. She bumped into me, but then said it was all my fault when she dropped her plate. <sighs> Sounds like a real bitch. Yeah. Thanks, though. But... The restaurant workers all looked at me with this disapproving expression. I wonder if we're out of place here. Morgana. What is it? Anyone could have a palace, yeah? Anyone with a strong, distorted desire. Same for them having a change of heart if their treasure gets stolen? That would be the case. Why are you bringing this up all of a sudden? We had trouble earlier, too. These selfish shitheads who just look down on everyone else. I was just wondering if we'd be able to change those kinds of people, too. You mean, you want to continue as the Phantom Thieves? I've been thinking. We put a lot of work into changing Kamoshida's heart, but nobody believes in the Phantom Thieves. Plus, those guys who had no other choice but to just deal with it are thanking us. Us, of all people! What do you think, Dan? I... I agree. If we ignore people who are in trouble, I'd go back to being the same as I was before. Well, that's true. You're under my tutelage. There's nothing we can't accomplish as phantom thieves. Shouldn't we be able to help him out? I didn't even think of such a possibility. But it's true that with this part, we need to help people. But that means we'll have to fight shadows again. Doesn't it? Indeed. That can't be avoided. Eh, I'm sure we'll manage. <laughs> right? Fine by me. Hm. Even if you guys are still just fledglings, this means we're an actual organization now. Fledglings? <laughs> That's actually pretty fitting for us. All right, it's settled. We're gonna catch all these shitty adults by surprise and make ourselves known to the world. Are you okay being our leader? Of course. No objections here? I can't handle all that responsibility stuff. Where's my say in this? But Lady Ahn made the recommendation, so I'll allow it. Well, should we decide on a name for our group? I just went with Phantom Thieves of Hearts last time, but don't you think a real name would be cooler? 
Oh, I got it. I want it to be something both cute and luxurious sounding. Let me see. <gasps> How about the diamonds? <laughs> I'm getting the real Little League baseball feel from it. Well then, here's my suggestion. How about tilefish poilé? Tile... Uh, what? what? That's what I ate earlier. It's commemorative, no? Hell no, you idiot! Uh, you decide for us. Your team may be seen by others, but you need to network search. So please be cautious and don't take any personal information. Furthermore, please do not enter an that could be considered offensive. So I am just going to go with the base default name here of the Phantoms because I am bad at coming up with names for groups. Or I could, you know what? Hmm, no. Should I make it a bit more personal? Will it fit? It will fit. So I play D&D and um, my suggestion for our group name, which probably got shot down very, um, very, very quickly, but you never know. So I might as well put it here, because why not? Uh, how do you put space? There we go. How do you put space? Oh, there we go. Team Shiny Stones. Don't ask. Just don't ask at all. Shiny Stones. I'm finished. Huh. That's not bad at all. A good name. For a rookie. We going with that? That's okay. Well, now that the name's set, who's our next target? There are tons of rotten adults and all. Why not just stick to targeting big names? Like a celebrity? Yeah, something along those lines. If we go after some big wig, it's gotta get on the news, right? Don't you think more people would believe in us if we did that? That's not a bad idea. For you, Ryuji. True. If we become better known, we might be able to give courage to a lot more people. I don't really like the idea of just picking someone out of the blue, though. Let's narrow it down to someone we can all agree on, then. Hmm. So we need a big wig we decide on unanimously. I like that unanimous decision part. It's like we're making some kind of pact. Now then. This is the official formation of the Phantom Thieves Organization. Oh no! Our time for the buffet ran out. I guess we'll just have to talk more tomorrow. Another world in which people's distorted cognitions take shape? Stealing treasure to change hearts? And on top of that, a talking cat told you all this. Believe what you will. Honestly speaking, that all sounds absurd. It's hard to believe that this is even worth listening to. Still, it can't be considered nonsense when parts of it align with Kamoshida's confession. The same goes for the testimonies of the officers who arrested you. But so be it. At any rate, you mentioned something more important. These two other accomplices, besides this talking cat thing that appeared in your story. From what you've been telling me, they're students at the same school, aren't they? Dot, dot, dot. Say it off with that. Very well, I'll leave it at that. Let's continue on. The questioning's not over anyway. If you are making this up, the cracks in your story will prove it. The next to receive a calling card was this individual, a master of Japanese arts, Ichiryusai Matarame. It's even more incomprehensible than Kamoshida as to why this man was targeted. 
Where did you come to know him? And how did you learn of his crimes when you weren't a victim of them? Start by telling me what you all schemed. And summary of the story has been updated. <sighs> well, we spent all our money on the buffet, but we officially established the fantasy, so it's totally worth it. The phantom fees, huh? Sorry to let you sound that. I hope it can really help people. I'm curious about that phantom is Fushiano with site too. I wonder who made it. No clue. More importantly, you see the survey on there? I don't know how I feel about it. Yeah, there was this approval rating thing, but it was only like 6%. That's low. Yep. But don't you just want to get it higher than that? I bet it'll go up tons if we start taking down big targets. Pretty damn exciting if you're trying to think about it like that. You know, you're actually right. Well then, let's keep working hard from this point on. The Thieves' Den has been unlocked, so you can access the Thieves' Den through the triangle menu on the title screen. Thieves' Den, you'll do various activities such as view art, listen to music, or play card games. You may unlock more of the story progression, so stop now and so stop by over now and again. Ah, so this is like bonus stuff. Cool. But with that, we're actually going to end our episode right here. A little bit of a longer episode today because um, I wanted to celebrate just coming back and trying to get back to normality because I did have a bit of a down period for a bit for a while because of the world change. But um, yeah, if you enjoyed today's episode, don't forget to give it a like and also don't forget to subscribe to become part of my community where we come where we spread fun and positivity for all. So that being said, folks, I will of course see you again.